Excellent. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. I got a question. I got a simple question, my dearest. Let me see. Alessandra Ortez. Welcome. How you doing? This is not my question, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying hello. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> hello, Ale. Hey, number one, how was your vacation? Really good. I really enjoyed it. What do you do? Well, first of all, the most important to me is sleep. Excellent. Perfect. And I also go to the, I don't know who to say, Feria. Okay, Fairy? Consumer, really? Yes. Okay. My first time. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I had the opportunity to I had the opportunity to win, but oh many years ago, at least five or six years ago. And I uh, I don't like it. Yes, I didn't enjoy it because uh, this is not my um, the environment that I like to have, but I respect when someone, a teacher, yes, in my case, I love to go to Consuma, yes, but in my case, no, I prefer to go to the mountain or something more relaxing, okay, but yes. <laughs> so, do you enjoy the, the like, like the roller coasters? La, las, ¿Cómo se dice? Los salvadoreños, las ruedas, do you enjoy it? Yes, I did. I went to the Vertigo and also okay. Aro de Fuego and Chicago. Hey, the vertigo, how much is it? Is, is it the same, For, the same cost? Sí, como, I'm going to say in Spanish because I don't know. Okay, <laughs> nice. Siempre son como columpios. Uh -huh. Columpios son sillas que van girando y sube la cosa. Yes. Okay, yes, but, but, but it's like a swing, como columpios, like a swing. But like my a... question is, how much is it? The ticket? Uh, three, three dollars. Okay, three dollars. Okay, nice. Thank you. So, but Alessandra, this is not my question for today. My question is, do you have the habit to read? Yes, I do. Perfect. So, tell me about it, please. Well, I think that habit started when I was really young, like six years old, when I started uh -huh. to learn reading. And... I used to, when I was a kid, I used to read uh, this comic of the newspaper. Okay. And ha yeah, everything started like that. And okay. right now I um, still have that habit and I enjoy okay. it. Are you continue reading in Spanish or in just in English? I have two books that I'm trying to read in English, but okay. they have a vocabulary really, you know, like technical. Technic exactly. Technic yeah. Technical. Mm -hmm. Technical, but I'm, you know, I'm trying. I'm, I'm doing my best. I have the translator in my computer and every word I'm translating it, but I have to do my best. Okay. I, I'm doing my best. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So let me see. Let me ask you. I'm going to start. Let me see. Let me see. Rachel, could you please turn on your audio? Rachel, by the Hi. way, welcome. Señores, bienvenidos a nivel 9. Es increíble. Dios mío, que rápido pasa el tiempo. Time flies. So, Rachel, my question is not about your vacation. No, no, no. My question is very specific. Do you like to read? Because for level number nine, reading is going to be the most important for this level. But what about you, Rachel? Do you like to read? Honestly, uh, I don't read a lot of because, okay. well, I just look on my Facebook or my social media in, in English, but read books uh, is, uh, I am a liar. I, if, uh, if you say yes, it's like say it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and, okay. Uh -huh. And the post in in Facebook or or interview, okay. I like the real interview, and I understand the 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 words and okay. I assimilate assimilations the assembly. Okay. And the read and I like. Teacher, okay. But okay. I don't read books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. Yes, I understand because some 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 students say, teacher, 
I like to read. Yes, I do. Yes, I like to read. My problem is I like to read in Spanish. Okay, but look at, look at the text. Observe it. Look at the reading. I took this reading from the TOEFL, from the reading TOEFL part. Okay, so and there are some words that maybe it are kind of confused for you. For example, let me, let me see. Paola Soriano, could you please turn on your audio? Paola, look at the text. Look at the text. Take your time. Tomate tu tiempo. Okay. Tomate tu tiempo. So, Paola, is there any word that you don't understand? Take your time. Walter, what about you? Look at the reading, Walter. By the way, Walter, welcome. Welcome. Good, good evening. Hi. So, Walter, look at the reading. Is there any word that you don't understand? Yes, Paola. Yes, Walter, please. Take your time. And before to continue with Paola and Walter, most of the most uh, one of the techniques teacher how can i how can i um how can i understand when there is a word that i don't have any idea about it one technique is read all the sentences this is one technique read all the sentences and try to look for a synonym. For example, Paola, is there any word that you don't understand in the reading? I don't understand. Uh, I think you. it's raining in your house. Yes. Okay, I, I think because I think you got, you got a lot of noise in your house. Yes, I think you got a lot of noise in your house. Okay, no, no, no worries. Okay, no worries, but let me know, okay? Te escucho mucho, mucho ruido en tu casa, hija, y te escucho bien suave la voz a ti. But no worries, but just please, just, yes, no worries, please. Just please let me know. Walter, what about you, please? Is there any word that you don't understand? Uh, I think that maybe gypsy, but if I read all, maybe the concept is like, like the children of the moat <laughs> okay okay good okay perfect so i got some synonyms and i got some pictures related about it so guys before to start with the text look at this one look at this one i have five questions about it i have five questions related with the previous previous text if you want please take a picture if you have time write it down but please guys let me see fabiola good evening and welcome to level number nine how are you doing hi teacher thank you so much um i'm good and i'm so tired really tired because it's monday for yes. last <laughs> vacations yes. i really need more vacation for vacations <laughs> <laughs> i like it i like it perfect so in my case and the previous uh in the previous minutes I was talking to your partners and I said, this is my first day. This was my first day to have imprecision classes at the university. My goodness. I enjoy it. Yes. Yes, I did. But the problem is I get, I get, a, uh, not a stress, but I, I, I get more tired as usual. Okay. Because yeah. presential is totally opposite. My energy, my energy is not the same as virtual, it's not the same as presential. But I feel I feel so happy because I prefer to have presential. Talking about talking about with my students at the university, I prefer to have presential with them because they are they are starting to be an English teacher. So it is totally different about you because in this case you are studying because you want to continue improving, you want to learn more, so and you want to pass the te the, the test at the end. Okay. So Fabiola, would you like to help me to read from question number one to question number five? Señores, estas cinco preguntas son para hoy. No, no para mañana. Ok, así que en lo que Fabiola lee, tomele foto, escríbalas, analícele. Yes, Fabi, go ahead. Ok. Um, can you hear me now? Perfect. Ok, thank you. Ok, the first question. What will be the best little for the passage? Passage, sorry. Two, what is the author's opinion about moth? Three, what is the use of the moth balls? Four, what is the use of the is the repeat, no? 
Oh mm -hmm. my goodness, there's yeah, there is a mistake. What must be a mistake? Okay. Um five, what kind of reading it is? What kind what my goodness, what kind? My goodness, teacher te está durmiendo, teacher. Yo guarde, teacher. Okay, yes, please, thank you. Uh, uh, let me see. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to let's see. Du -du 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 -du. No sé. Fíjate que iba a meter otra pregunta acá y recuerdo que me cayó una llamada y por eso no, o sea, no, 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 what kind of reading is it? Ok, again, please, I'm so sorry, just for patience. Ay, se me olvidó poner la número 5. Yes, Fabi, please. Ok, and again, the five, is the five question. Yes, please, the, the first question below. First question, uh, yeah. Uh, first, what will be the best lead for the passage? Two, what is the author's opinion about more? Three, what is the use of the mock balls? And four, what kind of reading is it? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Fabiola. So, teacher, I don't have any idea what is mock balls. Ahorita no tiene usted ninguna idea qué es, pero cuando lea la lectura, en este caso, sí, usted va a tener la idea. Ahora bien, look at the reading. Okay, I'm so sorry. Uh, do you got all the questions or do you need extra time? Yes? Or no, it is correct, it is perfect, yes? Or do you need yes, extra? Yes. Perfect, excellent, thank you so much. Okay, really nice. Okay, look at guys, look at the test. Uh, let me see, I'm going to ask to Harris, could you please turn on your audio? Señores, cuando yo diga stop, donde Harris se quede, yo lo voy a elegir a usted, y por favor usted continúa donde Harris se ha quedado. Así que please try to follow him. Harris, good evening, by the way. Would you like Hi, to teacher. help me to read, please? Yes. Perfect. Go ahead. Um, most are closely related to butterflies, but they are not studied as often because they are not as beautiful. Hey, Why? Stop. Tatiana, continue. Oops. Tati, five, four, three... Excellent. I could hear me. Good evening. Yes, perfect. I think you got a problem with your internet. Maybe it, it is raining in your city. Yes, teacher is okay. raining. Ah, no, but now, yes. No, much much better. Yes, perfect. Go ahead, please. They are not as beautiful. Continue. Okay. While butterflies have brightly colored wings, moth are usually one color. Hey, stop. Alessandra, continue. I'm sorry, I lost. Young moth. Young moth are born as caterpillar, caterpillars, just like butterflies. Both insects have two sets of wings. Odd wings. Perfect. Thank you, Jackie. Good evening. Continue. There are many. There are many, good evening, teacher. There are many moths and caterpillars. Caterpillars? And caterpillars in the world that are huge. Huge pets. Pets. A pet. Okay. Pest. Pest. Hey, hey. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia pest. entre pest y pet? ¿Cuál sería la diferencia, señores? Si yo digo pet. O oh, y la diferencia de pronunciar pest. The S after the E. Okay, so what is pet? Pet is a mascota. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's an animal. It's a plaga. It's and, a plaga. And exactly, thank you. Fabi, continue please. Thank you, Jackie. They are. Okay, they are always eating farmers, crops, or destroying forests. For continue. example, <laughs> okay, for example, the caterpillar of the gypsy moth it's in the strains, the forest in the northern United States. Okay, wait a minute, please. Jennifer, continue. Me tapaba el chat acá. Thank you, Jennifer. Good evening. Welcome. Go ahead, please. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, the gypsy okay. moth. Yes, yeah, the gypsy moth is not native to this area, which means the humans brought it from somewhere else it was not meant to live there. That's why the gypsy monks, caterpillars, eating habits cause problems. Cause problems, uh, thank you. Perfect, Diego, continue. There are, there are. Um, there are other monks 
that eat fruit, uh, trees and steal others that destroy clothing and blankets. Continue. Yes, please. Okay, the larp of certain species eat people fabrics. They particularly uh, like silk and wool. Stop. Thank you, Jessica. Good evening. Continue. Good evening. Uh, hey, one thing people, uh, sorry, one thing that people do to keep mud from their clothing is to use mud bolts. I continue. Yes, please. Mud bolts contain a chemical that kills both junk and adult moths. Eh, so, Berito, would you like to help me to conclude? Unfortunately, oops, let's see. Yes, Berito, thank you. Are you there? Five, four, three, two. Okay, let me see. Jenny, would you like to help me to conclude? Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it was discovered that mud bombs are not safe for human hair either. They also have a strong unpleasant, um, unpleasant smell. A smell. Okay, guys. So I got a question. And it, my question is very simple. I'm going to read again, and then my question is very simple. So what is the reading about i'm going to read again please okay and the question is what is the reading about this this is just to make sure you understand the text okay moth are closely related to butterflies so it means like a moth and butterflies are different insects yes or no are different insects, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Exactly, okay. Moth are closely related. Nosotros solo conocemos a las mariposas. Ah, la, ahí está la butterfly. Es uno de mis insectos favoritos, dice la gente. Sí, pero también existen los que son las moth. ¿Y qué es moth? ¿Qué es moth? ¿Cómo se le llamaría en El Salvador a ese tipo de... What mariposa is moth? negra. Ok, mire aquí. Thank you, Ale. Observe la diferencia. La primera es bien bonita. Miren, es la, the, the first one is a, it's simple. It's just a butterfly. A simple butterfly. What about moth? ¿Cómo se le llama en el, en, en el inglés? ¿Cómo se le llama en El Salvador a ese segundo insecto? Tiene un nombre. Papalota. La papalota, vea. Entonces, ¿es lo mismo butterfly y moth? No, desde ya, obviamente, Tiche, que no está viendo ahí, Tiche, obviamente no es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, so, moth are closely related to butterflies, but they are not study as often because they are not as beautiful, obviously. Why butterflies have brightly? Hey, what is brightly? Brightly, a synonym, not in Spanish. What is brightly? A synonym, five. Light. Light, Shiny. another one? Shiny. Shine, okay, perfect. Shiny. Butterfly, thank you. Butterfly hybridic colored wings, moth are usually one color. Okay, one description is butterflies can have many colors. What happened with moth? What happened with, is usually have just one color. Ahí tenemos una primera, una primera de um, diferencia, si usted lo quiere llamar así. Continuemos. Young moths are born as a caterpillars, just like a butterflies. Both insects have two sets of wings. What is set? What is set? Synonym, five. A pair. A pair. Exactly, exactly. Have two, okay, pairs of wings, or in this case, set. Nosotros estamos acostumbrados a decir pay, ¿verdad? Sígame, sígame. La clase solo dura 45 minutos, sígame. Entonces, en vez de decir un par de, cambiémoslo. Digamos, set, set of wings. There are many moths and caterpillars. Miren cómo sigue um, diferenciando y separando. There are many moths and caterpillars in the world that are huge pests. They are always eating farmers' crops. Hey, what is crops? What is crops? Five, four, three. This is crops. Look at this is crops. Look at ah, 
A synonym of crops. Deme un sinónimo de crops, señores. Five, four. Excuse me. Okay, but see, sí, okay, but this is a specific. Aquí estamos hablando específico. Pero en vez de decir types of crop crops, cámbieme la última palabra. Tipos de five, four. Trigo. Ese es un específico, pero yo quiero en general. ¿Cómo se le llama todo? Sí. Ok, se lo mando ahí al chat. Seeds. Hey, ¿Qué seeds? Ahí está en el chat, ¿está? ¿Qué seeds? Semillas. Entonces, yo Semillas. puedo decir, exacto. Usted, usted me estaba diciendo el específico, ¿verdad? Que el trigo, que el maíz, que el arroz, que el frijol. No, pero en general se le puede decir rock crops o se le puede decir, como usted lo conoce, sí. Entonces, ¿qué es un crop? Ahí está. Entonces, ¿qué comen en este caso los tipos, ese tipo de insectos? They are always eating farmers' crops or destroying forests. For example, the caterpillar of the gypsy moth eats and destroys the forest in the northeastern United, espérenme que aquí me tapa esto, United States. The gypsy moth is not nighty, nighty, excuse me, to this area, which means that humans brought it from somewhere, somewhere else. It was not mean to live there. Yes, Ligia, please. <clears throat> Where is gypsy? It's a kind of, it's a kind of insect. It's a kind of insect, gypsy. Yo oh. le digo gypsy o gypsy, las dos se pueden, gypsy o gypsy, pero es, es como decir eh, un nombre, es el nombre que le dieron en este caso a la papalota, gypsy. Okay, es okay. un tipo de insecto, it's a kind of insect, yes. Another question, my dear, is five, four, three. Hey, teacher. Yes, please, Ale. What, what means caterpillar? Caterpillar es esa bolsita como una, como una almohadita donde están las mariposas antes de salir. Ah, ok, ok. Es como la oruga. Unos, no. La oruga. oruga. Ajá, como, como la bolsa. Como capullo. Como un capullo, mm. exacto. Imagínense, la almohadita, Dios cuál de ticha. Entonces, pero me doy a entender que esa bolsita, la del capullo, ¿verdad? O sea, antes de que la mariposa salga. Hay una marca, no sé por qué le pusieron así también. Nada que ver, pero igual. So, another question, my dear, is five, four, three, two. Which means that humans brought it from somewhere else. It was not mean to live there. That's why the gypsy moth caterpillars eating habit cause problems. There are other moths. Ah, okay. There are other moths that eat fruit trees and still others that destroy chlorine and blankets. ¿Cómo se le llaman a esos insectos? que se comen los sillones, que se comen la tela, Colilla. el exacto. Entonces, ese es otro tipo de insecto que menciona esta lectura. Siempre son mof, siempre son mof, o sea, siempre, pero en este caso son otro tipo de, eh, de como, como los hermanos, pues por decir, es otro tipo de insectos. That destroy clothing and blankets. The lot of certain species eat people's fabric. They particularly like silk and wool. One of the things that people do to keep mold, okay, look at this one. Look at this is question number three, I think. This is question number three. People do to keep mold from the clothing is to use mold balls. Mold balls contain a chemical that kills both young and adult mold. Unfortunately, It was discovered that mold balls are not safe for human health either. Why? Because they also have a strong unpleasant smell. Let me see if I got, a, if I got, no, I don't got, okay. Estaba buscando lo del mold, lo del mold ball, pero no, no, no saqué. Pero es como, esta, es como la, es como su palabra más o menos lo dice. Son unas pelotas. Eh, que ellos dejan, en este caso ya sea en, en la tierra, para que el olor y el químico que desprende en este caso, pues pueda matar este tipo de insectos. So, my dears, I got, I got four questions. Lija, you got a question, please? Yes. What Lija, is so sorry. on placement? On placement, cuando when someone, something is disgusting for you. Yes. Oh, okay. When something is yes, it's disgusting for you. For example, in my case, 
uh, the smell of alcohol or smog is disgusting. It's unpleasant for me. Yeah. Okay. I feel, I um, feel uncomfortable. Yes, please. Um, silk and um, wool. Silk is a kind of cloth. What is silk? Seda. Seda. Okay. Seda. Seda. What is wool, um, guys? It's a kind of, what is wool? No one? What is wool? Yes, fine. I think this lana. is exact. This is lana, exactly. Silk, okay. seda, and wool, lana. Por ahí un alumno me dijo una vez, es este, ay, como, es madera. No, ese es wood. Ese es wood. Me dijo, no, teacher, ese es, no, ese es wood, con D, pero aquí es lana. Yes, Ale, please, con, let me, let me know. Sorry, teacher, but what means lar larva, 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 larva. Larva, larvas. Las larvas. Larve. Larve. Yes, la E muere. Larve. Larve. Yes, the pronunciation. Yes, thank you. No, a pleasure. A pleasure, please. Hey, guys. Teacher, I like to read. Yes, but what kind of what kind of test? What kind of passage? What kind of readings do you like to read? Hey, guys, if you want to improve, if you want to continue in getting new knowledge, Try to look for this kind of readings, okay? So I got a question and it's very simple. In a general opinion, what's the reading about? Volunteer. Jessica, go ahead. About moths and butterflies and the difference about the two. Okay, in general, yes, it is. Ligia, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, it's a different kind of butterflies that exist. Um, uh, and the characteristics of the buff. Okay, perfect. Choose a student or do we have volunteer? Hey, what's the reading? Just one more, please. The last one, because I don't have enough time. Thank you, Alessandra. Go ahead. Uh, it's about the math. And uh, besides they're relating to butterflies, they also talk about what they eat and what they do. Okay, and perfect, yes. The different kind of this, of the month. Okay, so yes, it is perfect. Thank you so much. Question number five was, what's the difference between moth and butterflies? Esa la que iba a poner. What's the difference between moth and butterflies? But I'm gonna continue uh, tomorrow with the, the same test. So for today, I have core questions and you are going to give us to me your best answer. The perfect answer, it doesn't exist. Aquí, señores, no existe la respuesta perfecta o la respuesta correcta en lo que se van preparando. ¿Cómo así, teacher? Observe la pregunta uno. What would be the best title for the passage? ¿Cuál sería el mejor título para usted? Si usted se fija, la, la, el texto no tiene título. ¿Qué título de, le, le daría usted? Puede ser que Ligia tenga uno, pero Jessica tenga otro título. No, teacher, yo creo que en mi opinión, creo que este título le va bien. Puede ser que Fabiola me diga, no, teacher, yo creo que para mí el título que le queda. O sea, the, the perfect one, it doesn't exist. This is just a general. Look at number two. What is the author's opinion about mom? Okay, yes, this is a specific. This is a specific, okay? What is the author's opinion in general about mom? I'm not asking about butterflies. What is the general opinion about mom? And number three, what is the use of mom books? And the last one, what kind of reading is it? Teacher, la cuatro no la entiendo. ¿Qué tipo de lectura es esta para usted? Okay. ¿Qué tipo de lectura es? I mean, it's like a informative. Informative. Okay. To entertain. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, yes, it is. So, if you're ready, let me know because you are going to answer the four questions at the same time. The four questions at the same time. Y Para eso tengo una rúbrica y la rúbrica se las voy a mandar hasta mañana. La rúbrica va a ser en base a esto. Dice, ya va a ser rúbrica. Desde ya voy a hacer rúbrica. Así es que, voluntario, me da sus cuatro respuestas. 
no le voy a decir si se equivocó, si lo hizo bien. Simplemente las rúbricas se las voy a mandar el día de mañana. Volunteers, please. Let me know if you're ready, ¿ok? Let me know if you're ready. Yes, I'm going to start as a volunteer. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Let's see. I got... Uh, but if you're ready, yes, if you're ready, please let me know, Jessica, okay? If you're ready, please let me know. Before to leave, before to leave. Thank you, Walter. Please go ahead. And the second, Fabiola. Question number one, Walter. What will be the best title for the passage? Uh, the most associates. Okay. What is the author's opinion about mob? Uh, the author thinks that the modes are a uh, best and a problem to the world. Okay. Okay, I'm taking into account. Okay, what is the use of the moth bolts? Uh, the use of the moth bolts is to kill the larvae and the moths, but they are uh, really the bad smell. I think I think you got some problem with your. I know I don't know if your internet is working or if your microphone is having problems. Please, um, would you like to repeat the uh, number three? What is the use of the mob balls? Well, the use of the mob balls is the to kill the larvae and the mobs. Okay. They but they are they have a really very bad smell. Okay, much better, perfect. And what kind of reading is it? It's. I think that is um informative about mm -hmm. some uh, kind of insects. Okay. That, yeah. Thank you, Walter. Would you like to help me to ask the question, the four questions to Fabiola? Okay. Okay, Fabi, please go ahead. What will be the what will be the best title for the passage? Okay. Um for me I have Three titles. The first, moth versus okay. butterflies. And the second, called moths are very yeah, beautiful, like butterflies. And the first, what are the moths? This is my third title. Perfect. Thank you. Next. What is the author opinion about moths? Um, I think describe the characters in the description about types of moths and the difference with the butterflies. It is not it's the same to insects. Okay, next. What is the use of the mud balls? Okay, mud ball is to use to kill them because there are moths than its clothing and the people notice the, it's disgusting for them and they hear to it for clothing. Okay. And what kind of reading is it? The reading it's for me is informative or about the science education. Pausa, voy a hacer una pausa, no, no porque Fabiola lo haya dicho bien o mal, o, o, o en este caso Walter. Si voy a utilizar el, el verbo informar, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir cuál es el, el, o qué tipo de lectura es acá, por ejemplo, y yo quiero decir para informar, ahí sí es to inform, para informar. Pero si yo quiero decir que es como información, ahí sí se, se ocupa como information about it, ¿ok? Detallitos chiquitos, continue, please. No, I finish. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, thank you, Walter. Thank you. I get, I get coffee. I was thinking <laughs> it. I'm feeling that the rubric. Thank you so much, Walter. Uh, Fabiola, would you like to help me to ask the four questions to Miss Ramirez? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the first question, what will be the best title for the passage? Uh, for me, um, more about the modes. Uh, only one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Second, what is the author's opinion about moth? 
uh, it's a impartial opinion um, because he don't have a or he didn't say that what's are good or bad. I think it's more a, a infor, in, uh, information opinion. Okay. Okay. Trin, what is the use of the mothballs? Uh, for kill uh, another uh, insects like uh, polias or another uh, plagas. Okay. okay. For for um, um, to preserve uh, the mm -hmm. the clothes in a better um, crops in a better um como está estado de la ropa como un buen estado a good and a good way i don't know okay okay no worries i'm going to let, let you know the correct one tomorrow in the public okay okay yes okay nice okay and the last one what kind of reading is it it's an informational informational <laughs> reading and and uh to practice uh, the a new words and a new uh topic about the mods because it's not a popular topic i guess okay i like it so, yes yeah it's not a popular topic yes thank you perfect thank you fabiola jennifer please would you like to help me to add the four questions to alessandra Okay. And then Tatiana and then Paola. Thank you. Okay. First question. What will be the best title for the passages? Uh, well, I choose Moth Life. Moth Life. Okay. okay. Second, what is the author's opinion about the moths? Well, I think his opinion is about the different kind of moths and how they live and the bad things about them. Mm -hmm. Third question, what is the use of the mud balls? It's a chemical killer for moths. Okay. okay. What in the last, what kind of reading is, is it? It is informative. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Miss. Thank so, you. please, Alessandra, would you like to help me with Tatiana? Yes. Perfect. Go ahead. Okay. The first one is what What will be the best title for the passage? Okay. In my opinion, the best title for this passage is "Mod Our Mod." Uh, I forgot how to say that. A best. Pest. Okay. Uh, what is the author opinion about moth? In my opinion, the uh, author um, thinks that moth are uh, pests and also they are similar to butterflies, but it's not the same because mm -hmm. butterflies is, is they are beautiful and moths are pests. Okay. Thank you. Next. What is the use of mud balls? Mud balls is used to kill moth and also larves. Okay. okay. And the last one, what kind of reading is it? In my opinion, is science and is very interesting. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. Tatiana, please. Would you like to help me with Paola? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. In my opinion, I think that the life of mom and butterfly. Okay. And tell me, what is the author's opinion about? In my opinion, the author knew how to describe moth and butterfly very well, and you learn a lot. Okay. okay. And what is the use of the moth balls? Moth balls 
kill your mom and have a unpleasant other? Okay, and tell me, what kind of reading is it? It is an informative uh, read as you learn a lot about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Paola. Okay, Paola, would you like to help me to ask the questions to Ligia? <clears throat> okay, teacher. Perfect. Before to continue, before to continue, guys, if you already participate, please, good night. And for now, you can leave the class. If you already participate, okay, and be ready for tomorrow, okay? Thank you, guys. Good night, people. Okay, Paola, thank you so much. Please, question number thank one to Ligia. Teacher. Nice. See here, question number one. What will be the best title? Title. Title for the passage? Um, I think is the different species of butterflies and their characteristics. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the author author's opinion about mom? Um, the author considers that moth can become very dangerous, very dangerous because they have at sometimes destroyed the forest mm -hmm. or are different types of clothing. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Question number three: What is the use of the moth balls? Um, the use of the moth balls is attractive. The insects, thanks to the chemical, and um, they have unpleasant odor for the people, and mm -hmm. uh, it's very painful to the human health. Okay. Question number four: What kind? Of, what kind? What kind of reading it is? Is it? It is informative. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Paulita. Hey, by the way, Paola, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, God bless you. Thank you so much, my princess. Ligia, okay, let me see. Who's missing? Who's missing? Thank you. Who's missing? Jackie, Rachel, Veronica, Jenny. Rachel, thank you. Ligia, please. Would you like to help me? Go ahead. Okay. What will be the best title for the passage? Mm, I think, uh, do you know about moth and butterflies? Excellent. Hey, me gusta ese título. Muy bien. Number two. Okay. What is the author opinion about moth? The authors express the moth are, is a simple color. It's like a, have a one color and the butterflies have a, a lot of colors. And oh, Maybe smooth is is only for is a the colors are not um are not interesting interesting yes okay, okay. what is the use of the mud balls mm. is I use a repellent. And quitemos el A, quitemos la, la muletilla del A. Is A, no. It is used as a repellent. Mm -hmm. as a it repellent. repels moths and other insects, but the, the smell is a unpleasant mm -hmm. because it's a chemical. Chemical, okay. Okay, what kind of reason it is? In my opinion, is informative because express the natural and the and the tell the history is history is yes. Uh, oh, yes, because history. yes, it is a history because it is based on a real mm -hmm. history about not have a one butterfly is like a other types the 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 insects. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Ligia. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, let me see. Volunteer Jackie. Rachel, please, the four questions to Jackie. Okay. What will, what will be the best title for the passage? 
Okay, and different characters of inset. Okay. What is the author's opinion about mods? Mm, my opinion is there are many mods on character pillars and caterpillars. caterpillars and the world are on pets. Okay. What is the use of the mod balls? The um, mod balls con contain a uh, chemical that kills both young and um, adult mods. Adult mods, okay. What kind of reading is it? Mm, uh, a lit and size is literature. Creo que así se dice. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, yes, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Good night. Okay, okay. Berito is ready. Okay. Thank you so much. Berito okay. is ready. Okay, Jackie, please. And I'm going to conclude with Jenny. Angie, okay. Angie, nos quedamos Angie, ok. Uy, la teacher no me hizo participar. No, Angie, ya te voy a decir ahí cuál fue mi objetivo contigo esta noche. <laughs> Jackie, please. Ok, ok, thank you, Jackie. Go ahead, Berito, be ready. Ok, what will the be, be the best leader for the pets? Um, the difference between moths and butterflies. Ok. What is author opinion about moths? Um, that moths are not as very uh, beautiful, sorry, as butterflies, but that, that they are born just like them. Practically, uh, practically, he's giving the difference between the moth and the butterfly. Okay. okay. What is the use of the moth bats? Uh, they put the oil cloths uh, to kill moths, but it was discovered that they are not as good for months as they are. They are um, also not good for human health. Okay. Uh, the final question is, what, what skills of the ready it is? Um, for me, it is like natural science. Uh, and since we we can learn about the nature and about many species or species. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Good night. Thank you, Berito. Okay, night, please. Teacher. Okay, I'm gonna conclude with Jenny, okay? Please, Berito, ask the four questions to Jenny. Okay. <laughs> uh, what uh, what will be the best leader for the passage? Uh, passage. Passage. Um, about um, insect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is uh, the outer opinion about moths? Um, about test and some. Butterflies, butterflies. Mm -hmm. okay. What is the use of the moth, moth balls? Um, um, to, <laughs> to kill, te acordás para que utilizaban las moth balls. To kill, to kill what? Simple, mm -hmm. to kill? The insects to kill the moth because they are affecting the farmers' crops. Uh, the insects. Exactly. Okay. Number four. And what kind of what kind what kind of writing writing really <laughs> What kind of reading is it is? Um, interesting. It's an interesting read. Uh, yes. Uh, it's yes. Um, interesting. 
Ok, excellent. Thank you, Jenny. Chicas, mañana les mando las rubricas, ok? Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Good night, teacher. Ok, perfect. Angie, me quedo contigo, Angie. Me quedo contigo. Hola. Sí, 